let's use a tree diagram. And no, we're not talking about the trees that grow outside that happen to be green. We're talking about tree diagrams with probability. So a tree diagram is a graph of a type that is used to determine the outcomes of an experiment. And using that graph, we can then also use it to calculate and find some probability. So first, a sandwich shop claims to have more options than you could ever try. They have three types of bread, two types of cheese, four different veggies, and two dressings. Now, we're going to assume, for our case here, you can only have one of each. And we're going to start by creating a tree diagram, okay? So, the fun part about this is we say, okay, we'll start with three types of bread. So, bread's going to be red, and we're going to call it three, right? So, one, two, three. Now, there are two types of cheese. So, from every bread, we would break that out into two types of cheese. Then we get into four veggies. So, each one of these breaks into four. And now, hopefully, you can see how crazy these can be. Now, we have two dressings. So, if you have a lot of options, tree diagrams can be very large. So I've already pre-created this. Bread on the top, then cheese, veggies, and then dressing. And I obviously didn't space it very well, but you can see how crazy this is. Now, one thing I want to point out from a tree diagram, it is a whole lot easier to determine, like, maybe how many total options we have. We could also use the counting principle, but we're not here to talk about that. At the end of every tree, right, so if we look at the base... We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options, right? From every eight here, eight here, eight, 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 right? So there are six of those. So there's six. Each one has eight options. So there are 48 different sandwich options if you only use one of each thing. Now, if we start using two veggies, three veggies, we get more. Um, but just one of each item, you had 48 different options. Okay, and we're not going to get into probability on this one because that can get a little messy. I just want to show you how crazy tree diagrams can be if you have a lot of options. So now let's talk about the probability piece. To calculate the probability, we want to take the number of times something happens, right? An event happens, and we compare that times the total number of events. So if we have event A, we would take the total number of times event A occurs, and that becomes our numerator, over the total number of events total, and we divide, right? Kind of a fraction, decimal, something like that, somewhere between 0 and 1. So the probability has to be between 0 and 1. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our second example. We're talking about ice cream sundaes. Yum. Vanilla or chocolate. There's your first decision. Then fudge or caramel, can't say both. And then the third option is strawberries or sprinkles. So we have three options, each two of them. So we're first going to start by creating our tree diagram. So we have vanilla or chocolate. From there, each one breaks down to fudge or caramel. I'd say both, but that's not an option. And then we have strawberries or sprinkles. I should have used something with a different letter, but you know, this is just who I am. Okay, so there we go. We can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the total number of options is eight. Just FYI. Okay, let's look at number or letter A. What is the probabil probability of vanilla with fudge and sprinkles. Okay, so think about that. Let's start with vanilla, going to fudge, and then sprinkles. There is exactly one of those. And there's eight total. So the probability of A would be 0.125, or 1 eighth. Now let's go to B. What is the probability of ice cream with caramel and strawberries? Well, if you think about it, here we have caramel and strawberries, and here we have caramel and strawberries. So there are two of those out of the eight total options. That reduces to one-fourth or 0.25.
So that is how you can use the tree diagram to find probability.